Are you looking to buy new construction in Port St. Lucie in 2022? Well, if you're financing, you may want to reconsider. And that's what we're talking about today, so don't go anywhere. Hi, my friends, and welcome to another edition of Real Estate Tips and Tours. This is the first time you've been to my channel. My name is Lee Bricky, and here we talk about real estate, mortgages, and money. And if this is the first time you've been to my channel, or if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to slap that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So everyone today is looking for new construction in Port St. Lucie, and why wouldn't you? There's so much new construction everywhere. Uh, new construction in tradition, new construction all over the scattered lots. Everywhere you look, a home is being built in Port St. Lucie. But with the increase in mortgage rates, the supply chain issues we're dealing with, workforce issues, and construction costs going up every single month, buying a new home in 2022 probably is not going to be a good idea for anyone with a mortgage that is trying to stay in a payment or a budget. Unless that new home is a spec home or it's a resale that you can finance right now. Because if you're waiting to purchase a home nine to 12 months from now, there's no way you can lock your rate and therefore you could be looking at rates that could throw off your debt to income ratio or throw you out of your budget. And this could cost you thousands and thousands of dollars if the builder is not willing to give you your deposit back. So let's dive into what the reasons are that buying new construction in 2022 may not be the best idea for buyers in Port St. Lucie. The Federal Reserve came out yesterday and pointed out that they were going to raise interest rates in 2022. In addition, the Fed says that they are going to reduce the amount of bonds that they're buying back in February and in March, the program is expected to end. But Goldman Sachs predicts that there will be at least four rate hikes this year. So the question is, where will rates land by the end of 2022? You're gonna hear all kinds of things from all different people and professionals and predictions out there, but I really don't believe that anyone knows really where we're gonna end up at the end of the year. Most people think somewhere around 4%, but there are predictions higher than that and there are predictions lower than that. But last week we saw rates go from 3.2% to 3.7% in just a week. So that's a huge increase for such a short period of time. And for the prediction models, that wasn't a prediction anywhere in anything that you read in 2021 predicting rate increases in 2022. As a matter of fact, predictions for 2022 were that rates for first quarter would be around 3.2%. We've already reached the predictions for fourth quarter at 3.7%. Now, we're seeing some recovery in the bond so that could help you know stabilize the rates a little bit but i just don't see anybody really being able to predict where rates will end up at the end of the year because the marketplace right now in the u.s is so unpredictable with all the issues that we're dealing with but for the benefit of this video let's get back to rates and talk about what a payment difference would be from 3.2 percent to four percent a 3.2% mortgage right now on a $400,000 house is going to be $1,730 a month. That's principal and interest. That same loan on that $400,000 home at 3.7% goes up to $1,841 a month. And at 4%, that payment goes up to $1,900 per month. So as you can see, it's a big swing from 3.2% to 4%. And for many buyers, it could throw them out of their budget. And even worse, it could blow out their DTI, their debt to income ratio, so they get turned down by the mortgage company. Then on top of rising rates, we have the supply chain problem going on right now in the US. And this is causing a major problem with contractors building their homes. 
And it's not just building materials, it's also things like your kitchen appliances, your garage door, your washer and dryer. They're having a hard time getting these things. I have a client that we're selling her house in tradition and she's moving to one of the new communities and the new builder is not delivering her any kitchen appliances or washer and dryer. They're giving her credit for that because they can't get them. And for some builders, it's actually decreasing the amount of homes that they can build and increasing the time it takes them to build those homes. Then to further the problems with new construction, builders are having to pay workers more money, which is raising the price of the home. And they're also having a harder time finding workers that are dependable. So this can slow down again, the building of these new construction properties. Now I will tell you at the beginning of last year in 2021 and even in 2019, I was a big proponent of buying new construction in Port St. Lucie. And the reason was is because there were no signs that rates were going to be going up. So it was worth locking a home price down on new construction because you could count on that price when you closed and the rates would basically be the same. So it was a really good idea for a lot of people to lock in their home prices. And even now, if you're purchasing cash, new home construction is still a good idea. Or if you're investing, new home construction is still a good idea because right now the rental prices, no matter if rates go up or not, will cover what your mortgage payment is on that new home that you're purchasing to to rent but here in 2022 with inflation getting out of control in the u.s and all of the supply chain problems continuing to exist and building materials continuing to go up and now we're seeing rates go up as fast as they are I just can't sit here and tell you that new construction is a good idea for anyone who's looking to stay in a certain payment when they close nine to 10 months from now. But there is light at the end of the tunnel for buyers in Port St. Lucie, I believe in 2022. One of the things is, is that right now, today, there are 286 resales on the market right now in Port St. Lucie, which is more than any other city in South Florida. So from this agent who has boots on the ground, selling and buying homes every single day in Port St. Lucie, here is what I suggest to buyers that are financing and are on a budget this year. Buy a resale or buy a new home that's come back on the market or even you could buy one of these spec homes that are being built by some of these new builders in tradition where you don't have to wait more than three or four months because you can lock your mortgage at no cost 90 days. So I hope this helps you in your buying decision in Port St. Lucie in 2022. But I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. So leave a comment in the comments section below. And let me know, one, do you think it's a good idea to buy a home in Port St. Lucie in 2022? I do. I think it's a great idea to buy a home in Port St. Lucie in 2022 because prices are going to continue to go up and rates are going to continue to go up. But what is your feeling? Number two, are you looking to buy new construction or a resale? Would that work for you? And number three, for any professionals out there, where do you think rates will end up at the end of 2022? I'd love to hear all of your opinions on all three of those. And if you found value in this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if this is the first time you've been on my site or you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. And you can watch the next video right there on why I believe that there's so much inventory in Port St. Lucie right now, why homes continue to come back on the market and why Prices are being reduced. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you next time.